everybody welcome back to my channel okay today I'm going to be showing you the tutorial for this um, paper clip album that I made to store your paper clips in and I have no idea where my little paper clips have gone but anyway <laughs> okay so I'm going to show you how to construct it it'll be this size album that we're doing this uh, inside was meant to be for a smaller album so we're going to continue on to do this big one. I will show you how to do the cover. So just let me give you the measurements for the the cover. Okay, so you're going to need one piece, which is the spine, at two and a quarter by seven and three quarters. And you'll need two pieces measured at six and a quarter by seven and three quarters. Okay. Then the cardstock, you will need two 12 by 12s. And I've measured it at um, nine and a half by 12 okay so two pieces of that and you'll be cutting some off anyway all right now um, for the uh, inside of your album this chipboard piece at the back that goes into the pocket okay you will need to cut that at, I've cut mine at four and a half by seven, but you could go just a little bit over seven, it's up to you. Now I've only covered one side, that's what the back of it looks like. Nobody's gonna be seeing the back of it, so that doesn't bother me. Now, however, if you don't like it, you can cover that bit and it's all good, okay? Now the pocket, you're gonna measure it at eight, eight and three quarters by six and score half an inch on three sides so as you can see all right and that will be your pocket Alrighty. so let's get started on the cover now i'm just going to do this quickly so you guys can see you know how i do it it is rough so i'm just going to pop that to one side that'll go to one side so i've got these two pieces and i want to tape them down so you want to tape them down lengthwise and I've got good, use score tape on this guys um, because you want it to hold. I've got, this is not called score tape but it is, I find strong, even a little bit stronger than the score tape and it's good for our climate here too. So um, I tend to go by what works here for me in Australia. Um, because we've all got different climates, different humidities and stuff like that. So the climate that I'm in, this is perfect for. Okay. So then what you will do is you will put tape. And I'm only ripping it. I generally cut it. But like I said, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to tear it. Okay. I'll put a strip here. You can use wet glue on this part if you want to as well. I just prefer to use the score tape. Um, ATG tape, a bit iffy about that. Um, even though you are folding things over, um, if you've got a good strong adhesive for the ATG, by all means use that as well. Okay. So I'm just going to do the spine. Sorry, the camera. I've got to make sure I'm in frame. Nearly done, guys. Alrighty. Okay. So I'm just going to take one of these covers and make sure that's burnished down. Get your bone folder and make sure it's really stuck on before you take it off. Okay. Because I've been doing a lot of mixed media. So I've got paint under the nails and oh my gosh, just doesn't come off. I've been working with the Ken Oliver paints. Uh, the watercolors and look, <laughs> my finger <laughs> my fingernail is literally blue and all around it so um yeah the kettle ken oliver um watercolor powders oh my gosh they are stunning very very strong you only need a little bit of it um to get you know the desired effect um but if you are worried about your hands staining, you can use gloves. Okay, so I'm just going to line it up about there. So I've probably come in about an inch. Oh, sorry. Let's see. 
about an inch. All right, then I will put my spine in there. And I don't think I've got enough card stock for what I wanted to do with. All right. I'm just using a pick tool to get all those tape bits off. And I do leave a bit of a gap there um, because I don't want it to be too tight when I'm folding the album over. Okay, beautiful. And our last piece. Now, I didn't want the seam to be on our spine. I wanted it to be on the back page because it's kind of easier to cover that way too. It's on the back page. Or, you know what, you can bind it whichever way you guys like. It's individual preference. Like, you could just do it with two chipboard, um, a front and a back, and cinch it all together that way. It's not a big deal, guys, not a big deal. And somewhere along the line, this is not going to be straight. Oh. So just make sure you've got it straight as you can see it's not lining up here but I have a feeling it's I didn't line up the second piece you guys will have a bit more time um, or take a bit more time in um, covering the front cover like I said I didn't want this to be too long so I'm just gonna I eyeball it roughly like I said I know it's gonna be uneven that doesn't bother me because by the time I fold things over it, it doesn't look uneven anyway so what I do is I just cut the ends here not too close because when you fold it over you'll have your chipboard exposed and we don't want that okay I don't measure the ends like I said I eyeball it but you guys if you're pedantic about getting it right and measuring it and what have you by all means you do it that way um this is the way that I do it and I really um you know I'm not going to dictate to you guys on how to do it I'm just giving you a um an idea or just showing you how I I do it okay all right, then you'll just put your score tape. And you'll find once you've done one of these, it'll go together really quickly as well. And once you've cut out all your pieces too. So I suggest what you do is before you start making it, um, get all your measurements done, get all your pieces cut up and then um, create the album itself, okay? Just makes it a lot less time consuming I think if you've got everything cut up I'm just gonna make sure that it's all stuck down by the end of it you have a lot of this white backing left too <laughs> all over the place I'm just gonna take these off because they interfere with what I want to do all right, so I'm just going to fold this piece over, turn it around. I wouldn't do this in like a stack the deck binding because you'll find that, um, it, I don't know, it might just get a bit too chunky and stuff. The um, ring binding or the cinch binding could be um, better for this type of album. Just get rid of the side. Oh, stuck it back down again. <laughs> Always the way, isn't it? Okay. What I'm do is bend it and fold it over. Bend it and fold it over. Okay. Now you will need another piece of cardstock oh I think I can get away with this one and you want it to go in the middle here okay I don't want mine covering make sure it's all stuck down I don't want mine covering the whole lot 
because they'll be putting paper down on this. You guys won't see that because I'm only showing you the template of the actual album. So I'm just going to cut that down. over all right so i've got this piece which is about six and a half and then you know seven and three quarters with just a little bit taken off uh is it seven and three quarters this way so it's six and a half by let's see oh just yeah just before the seven and three quarters so I cut it for smidge. You can go right to the seven and the three quarters. It's totally up to you. Okay. I just want to bend mine in. Turn that. Right. And you will need your bone folder too for this. Okay. I'm going to put some tape on there. View so that it's not all messy for you guys. Whoops. Okay. So once again, you'd want to have all of this tape on it before you start sticking things down. So once you've cut everything, put tape on everything that you need to put it on, um, and then um, you know start building your album. Okay. Like I said, mine will be covered over with paper along here. But what I'm going to do first is I'll put my pocket on, okay? And you want the pocket on the opposite side where that seam is. Um, sorry, your cover to be the opposite side of where that seam is. Now, you can decorate the cover. It's up to you. Or you can leave it plain and, you know, put paper clips or whatever. Now, I'm not going to show you how to put um, the papers on like this i'll just show you how to do the mat and then the liner because i want to do this one blank i don't want to have any designer papers on there but if you want to jazz it up i'll show you how to um once i show you the inside pages i'll show you how to do that okay so i've put my tape on there which is really good and i have given you the measurement for the pocket for the album is eight and three quarters by six and you score it on three sides at half an inch all right so i'll just turn those over all righty oops just make sure you line it up before you stick it down okay going to check to see how this is going if it's still recording yep i'm low on battery so i'm just going to keep on going for now Alrighty, so that's my cover and that's the pocket all right so i'm going to put that to one side now the next part you want to do is this bit here where you've got your chipboard i've just covered it i've given you the measurements okay so i'm going to pop that to one side now for your pages you are going to need to cut them at oh uh, let's see let's see let's see five and a quarter by seven and a quarter and i've just got six pages here but you could test the waters and see how many you can fit in there okay now i'm going to do mine back to back all right, so I'm going to have my liners on the front and on the back for my paper clips. Okay, um, that will get bulky, or you can just have it on one side. All right, so the pages are five and a quarter by seven and a quarter, and your liners that you'll need are five by seven. Okay, now 
I'm going to pop the pages to one side. If you want to put your designer paper on there, you can do so. Okay, now I've done it two colours because I want to be able to see the background. Okay, here on this album, I've done it black on black. So you can't really see it. And it doesn't bother me either to have that because I've got my designer paper on top. If you're choosing not to have paper on, pick two different colour cardstocks so you can see your lines and, and what have you. Okay. So before you do anything, what you're going to do, and this is what I've done with mine. I covered my designer paper on top. I left a little bit of a border around, about an eighth of an inch. Okay. Then what I did do is got my paper trimmer. Okay. I'm going to do that now. On my liner okay which measures five by seven i come in at ooh, about three quarters of an inch okay put my blade down and i come in at half an inch from the end and stop at half an inch from the end okay that's my way of doing it. You guys, by all means, can do it differently. All right. So I've gone in half an inch and I've kind of stopped at half an inch. Okay, so that's my first score line. Now, what I do is I've moved it over to the one once it's been cut. Okay, so it's stopped there and I'm just going to press it down and move it down to the other bit. Now, you can leave the cut lines as is. Or you can put a little notch at the end of them. Now, this is a very fine, I'm not sure if you can see that little nib there to give you a really tiny hole, okay, on the end of it. So, and this is to basically stop it from tearing, okay. So you've got to line it up. And this is time consuming too if you guys are going to do this. But, you know, on the other hand, you don't want it to tear. Okay. As you can see there, and I'll just show you the holes there as well. All right. So that's my first um, cut. Then what you can do is do them the same width in between, right? So what I have done by doing it that way, I've given it an enough room okay to move down a bit so what i did do with my other ones i found where that ended okay and then put my blade down just underneath it and once again i cut it in now this part here the middle part you don't need to go an inch wide you can go three quarters or half an inch okay i done mine an inch wide because i want it to really hold in there all right so I would probably leave this and keep this as the bottom, okay, because, or well, maybe not, you can keep it as the top because you can have your, um, that can be moved down and you can have your things there. Um, what is that? The, the top is on your paper clips up the top here. If you find that they're hanging over, I would suggest, and try this out on paper first, guys. Do not cut directly into the, the cardstock first because you will find you will end up wasting, okay? Because I'm only doing bows, that's big enough for me. So if you were do, to do a big circle or um, a square or whatever you're putting on your paper clips and it is going to overhang, I suggest you move it down further than half an inch. I'd probably go an inch down down okay so then what I will do is I will come in just under that paper clip and I get on my half inch here and move it right down to the half inch from the edge on that side okay now from this point I can go smaller okay if I wanted to but I think what I will do is just keep it at my inch increment there and then go back down here Okay, so then I'll move my paper clip down and that gives me a bit of space. When I've done that inch, that gives me a bit of space there. Okay, so I'll move that down once again, half an inch and then cut it there. All right, and then go on the inch mark 
and then down and then back at where are we half an inch okay so what you can do it, it has a big gap up the top here so what you can do is turn it around and if you've got a big page topper you can um like paper clip topper you can start from this end okay so what you're going to do is you'll punch all your holes out so which i will do on this one That one was off, but doesn't bother me. Okay. And this is just to stop it from tearing, all right? You don't have to do this method. Depends on how many paper clips you're going to put in there. Okay. Now you can make this as big or as small as you like. Well, not too small because you want to get some paper clips in there. All right. So now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is I know that I've got my paper clip coming out of this one. And what's the other ones? Oh no. And it's probably better to do it with the paper clips that you are going to be putting in there. So you're going to go in on every second one. Okay, so we're going in here and then we're going in the next one. Okay, now the reason for doing that is so that I know where to tape, okay? So I'm going to tape around the edges because the one thing that we don't want to do is tape down the bits where the paper clips are going to slide through, all right? Um, you won't be able to get them in and out, okay? Now, this bottom bit here you can secure, all right? You can put more tape on. So I see that this is going to be my bit here where my paper clip is going to go. So where the paper clip is not going to be and in between those holes, I'm going to put tape. Okay. And the same for this side. And you can put a bit more tape along there. Okay. Then what I will do is take this tape off. Okay, and do make sure you've got your paper clips in there because what we want to do is stretch that cardstock um, so that we can allow for the um, paper clips to sit in there. All right. All righty. So I'm just going to put that on my base page. Now, I'm going to move it over slightly. I don't want it maybe centred. I'm just going to give the right edge a little bit less um, border. Or you could do it central because I know that I'm going to be punching out the holes here from my cinch. Okay, so that's what that should look like. All right. Now, like I said, you can do it plain or you can cover it with cardstock. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do all my other pages and when I come back I will show you what it looks like. Okay. Okay, welcome back. Sorry about that. Now what I did do while I was away is put my pocket on and decorated this side as well. Okay, so I've done all my pages. Now i done mine back to back. And you can do yours, um, you know, whether you want it on the front and then just have, you know, nothing on the back. It's totally up to you. I have done mine back to back. And so I've also cut out for this front bit here. Um, I might, it looks like I might need to trim it down a bit as well. So I'll just trim that down quickly because I think I've overdone it on that edge just give me a tick and I'll put it on that side just to even things out okay so what I'm going to do now is I will stick my tape down now excuse me I have done it in black you can put designer paper on top as well 
but I think for the time being I'm just gonna leave it in the black well for the time being I will leave it in black <laughs> because if I'm gonna have different color paper clips on there I could I like to be able to see them all right so that I I know that my first cut out here is going to be where my paper clip sits so I'm going to skip the next one then I'm going to go to the third one and then skip that one and then the last one and I'll find a paper clip for that one okay here are my bows okay so when I turn it around I know that I need to put tape there and tape there okay so I'm going to stick a bit of extra tape on the top here okay you've just got to be very careful to make sure and I would probably put more tape on there um, make sure that you don't tape down the side to where you're going to be um, feeding your paper clips through okay alrighty I'll just take this off So once you get a, um, like I said, you can have designer paper on there. I did on my other one, but I kind of like it the way that I've got it with the craft and the black now, because then I can see the different, I could put different color paper clips on there, different designs, and it won't, they won't kind of blend into the background. Okay, so I'll just move this over. Okay. And lay it down here and I could have done it so that I've I put the craft one down but I wanted something different I think so that's the paper clip oh hold it there all right we can just remove those okay and all you need to do is pull them back up uh, for you to be able to slide your, your paper clips through so hopefully I haven't stuck them down there you go okay and then the next one and the more times you put your paper clips in the um the more you i mean you won't need to you probably won't struggle with it because wherever you've laid your paper clips you know it'll um not crease or anything but it, it will lift it will have a slight lift of where you put your paper clips okay so now i will put that one upside down I'll move that to one side and show you what I'm going to do next. I'm going to cinch this all together. Now, I've done my chipboard here and I'll put my holes in there. I'm only having 10 holes, okay? So, the reason why I put on one side, uh, put this, oh, excuse me, this craft card stock to one side is because we're going to be punching holes, okay uh, from the cinch and I didn't want the holes to meld in with my holes here okay and as you can see it didn't bother me where I got the holes I think a couple of them because I was rushing they weren't quite right and what have you but you know what I'm not fast I'm only going to see it but if you were if you're going to make it as a gift I would you know say take your time or if it's for yourself and you're going to show people take your time now this is the smaller version that I've made this is what I started off with and I decided, you know, I can make, I decided I was going to make a bigger one. And this is kind of cute to um, give to a friend, I reckon, just in a package. And, you know, you could probably have uh, eight paper clips in there. So it'll be really cute as a gift. All right. So I'm going to take this off and make sure there's no other paper clips in there because I don't, I mean, my cinch is busted as it is. I'm waiting for the Heidi Swap one to come out. Okay, so that's it there. And now you don't need to have the cinch. You can use the zutter for this and what have you. So all I've done on my one is, I'm not sure if you can see it at this angle, the one and the 12 peg is pulled out. Okay. Now the way that I do it is I eyeball the first one and make sure that they're kind of lined up. There's no rhyme or reason to that. And then I'll move that, that guide in as soon as I'm happy with it. Okay push it out and make sure it's pushed right to the back and see what I mean with the holes 
if I'd moved that a little bit further over, it would have come right into my holes. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I would have preferred it not to. And that's how it comes out. Okay. So I'll just punch away and make sure all of them are the same way as well when you're punching them out. Okay. And like I said, this you can make a cute book out of this and give it as a gift um you know with paper clips inside i think that'll make a nice gift all right i don't know i've got here but and mine tends to get stuck because at some point i actually pressed well i don't think i actually done it but when i first got it there was a piece of metal which was at the back of this and un right underneath and I just can't get it out and it kind of blocks me from um, being able to cinch it together a lot of the times as well. All right, so I'm going to move that to one side. Once you've got it all cinched, then what you're going to do is I'm going to turn mine around because I'm not going to see that side. Is it this side? Hold on. No, it's this side. So when it comes around, it'll be here. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so I want it to go there. So your back will always go on top. All right. Now, I've got these uh, We Are Memory Keepers. All right, cinch wires. Now, if you get the ones with the green on them, they've got one less o ring. Uh, wire if you get the ones with the pink on there you get one extra so there's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three there's twenty three on the pink ones it's got twenty four so I got you <laughs> I don't think they counted their O wires right <laughs> so in any case let's get this done so I'm gonna take one out now the size that I'm using is the one inch one, and that's 2.5 centimeters. Okay, so I'm only going to need 10. 10, and I'm just going to cut it with my, oh, where are they? I've got these with my bind at all, and I'm just going to cut it. Beautiful. Now I'm going to get my cinch back again, because they do have... The guide here at the side they've got these little bars which you can hook your um eye wires to and then go in and put them on okay alrighty so i hope this is all in frame guys yep you can see it beautiful it's not slow mo, is it? No. Sorry about the lighting. It's getting starting to get um, dark here. Okay, and then I'll put this bit here. All right, and that is perfect. All right, so what I'm going to do is turn it around, and then I'm going to set my marker here on the where is it? One inch. What did I say? Yeah, on the one inch mark. Okay. So I'm going to push it in, or is it pull it out? So my one doesn't really work. So <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to work. It's stuck. <laughs> Told you it was broken. Oh my gosh, it is stuck. Literally stuck. All right. So I'm going to. What I might do is undo that and see. There we go. Okay. It helps if you <laughs> it helps if you don't have this lever pulled down. <laughs> you need to have this lever free. Okay, there you go. I told every time I swear I do a video, <laughs> it's always something that happens in it. But all good. If you guys can get a laugh, I'm happy. Alright, so I'm just gonna oh, is that gonna cinch down? Probably. Okay. Just change it over to the one, okay, and pull it out, and then hopefully it'll cinch it. I did say hopefully, didn't I? Oh. 
like I said, I really need a new cinch. And being a left-hander, okay, come on, you can do it. All right, I have to push these out because my wires are not really... Okay, so just gave my wires a bit of a help. Now, so once it's cinched up like that, you'll need to turn that over. I'll just make sure, because you don't want your page to come out. All right, turn it over. Okay, so that'll be at the back. All right, and that's what you want. So I'll move this out the way. So what you will do is slide this piece into your cover. And I think I've got mine just a little bit too tight. You need to have a little bit of room in there. And of course, I have, there we go. It's going to be a firm fit. Well, at least I know it won't fall out. <laughs> that's a good thing. Okay. And I'm going to push it down because you don't want it across your uh, spine there. Okay. So that is my album. So when you open it up, you've got your paper clips all done. See how mine come up easy enough, like that one I've stuck down. And if I can find the other paper clips, that would help. Okay. So I missed that one into the next one and then into the next one here. And that's how you do it. And it's like these bows are pretty flat, so you can do it. <laughs> that was meant to go at the back, but I'll just stick another one on there. Um, you can do it where it's got nothing on the back and just put designer paper or do it back to back like I've done with this one. And then I'll get another bow and stick it on the front. But you do need these liners in because what you don't want to do is cut into your base card stock and um, then, you know, have, uh, what do you call it, have the paper clips on both sides. Um, you just won't be able to get in as many on there. So that is my paper clip album tutorial and the mini album one as well. Okay, that's so cute. Thank you again, guys, for watching. Oh, my gosh, it was so funny. But um, as usual, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and leaving the lovely comments. I hope you get something out of this. And I hope you guys give it a go. Like I said, <coughs> excuse me, don't be too afraid to expand on this. You can use it in the big A4 size papers and put them into a binder ring and do that so easy to do. This is perfect for what I need it for. Like I said, I use them in a lot of my mini albums. So what I can do is do a whole heap. You know, you can do like little coffee cups, little bows, everything. There's so much stuff out there for you guys to be able to incorporate onto, or onto your paper clips and then stick them into your albums. Once again, thanks again, guys, and uh, be kind to one another. Bye.